Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and uh, it's been a couple months. Um, life's doing fine. I've just been super busy with things, and uh, just kind of got a little demotivated there for a little while. Didn't even really read much of anything up until lately, uh, but Mike's been keeping up on the channel. All you guys love his content, so um, some exciting news, though. Mike and I are planning a live show for this Saturday. December, what is that, 3rd, December 3rd, 2022, our first live show in months is going to be coming up, and uh, it should be a good time. Mike and I haven't even really talked that much either. We've just been so busy with life and work and everything else, um, but yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff to come, so make sure to tune into that. It'll be an earlier live late show than normal. Uh, normally, we don't go live until like 9 or 10 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, but I think we're going to go live around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah, it'll be a little bit earlier there, so be sure to check us out on the live show. Um, should be a really good time, a lot of fun. Miss uh, communicating with all of you guys. That being said, this is also brought to you by our sponsor, our boy JP, the one, the only, OrganicPriceBooks.com. Be sure to go check out OrganicPriceBooks.com for all of your hardcover omnibus needs and uh, use our offer code THC2 at checkout to save $2 off of your order. Now, if you do order three or more books and you want them all shipped together, use our other offer code THC SHIP IT TOGETHER to save a total of 5% off of your order. And if you're ordering three or more books, chances are it's going to cost you over 100 bucks. So that's a savings of over $5, potentially even more, depending on how much you order. So be sure to use our offer code THC, ship it together for multiple books to save even more money. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for our sponsor for today, you guys. In today's video, I thought, what do I want to discuss? What are some things that I've been asked about and questioned about and things like that that I can come back and kind of bring to the table to jump back into video making mode, um, so to speak. And it's none other than digital reading, right? A lot of people lately have been going more digital because one, it's less expensive, it doesn't take up your shelf space, and it's honestly more convenient. Now, it's not my preferred method of reading as I much prefer a physical book. I love the smell of the paper. I love the ribbon bookmarks. I love custom binds. I, I love all that stuff, right? But the fact of the matter remains is that digital is still a much easier uh, format to, to take with you on the road, to take with you on trips, to read in bed, uh, whatever the case may be. Digital, it, it is a lot easier and you have access to things. Things aren't out of print on digital, you know what I mean? Um, so it's, it's definitely... It's creeping up there. So with that being said, um, I've started parting with a lot of my collection because I'm like, look, I'm just never going to read these books again. I don't want them sitting on my shelves, just taking up space, collecting dust when they could go to people who will actually, you know, maybe read them more than once or what have you. So I've been parting with a lot of my collection lately, but some of the books I'll never part with are like my Spider-Man collection, my Batman collection, and then my ever-growing Star Wars collection. Um, those ones I, I won't ever part with, uh, but everything else kind of up for grabs, um, minus some things here and there, obviously like my GI Joe custom binds that I did a video on. Pfft, no, 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 no. I did read volume one though. Um, I'll do a video on that one later, but all that being said, um, there are some like, uh, uh, indie books and things that I'll collect. Like I just ordered die, uh, hardcover. I ordered Gideon Falls volume two. Um, and there was one other that I just, oh, Hacks, uh, Hack Slash, the crossover edition. So basically Hack Slash Deluxe Volume 3. Um, I ordered that one. So there's some indie titles and things that I'm still going to collect. But other than that, I'm going more digital. Um, and so a lot of the questions that I've been asked regarding digital lately is, is what kind of a tablet or phone or what have you, what device do you read your digital books on? And for the longest time, I read on an iPad. I'm an Apple guy. I had an iPad. It was just like your standard 9.7 inch or 10.1 inch, whatever it was, iPad, right? Nothing special. Just a regular everyday iPad Air. Um, and uh, it did. It worked. It worked great. There was absolutely nothing wrong with an iPad. But I kept hearing stories about people that were getting these like 
monster tablets that were, you know, almost over 12 inches in size and it was kind of like reading an absolute edition in bed and I thought huh I want to upgrade so about a year ago I looked into it um and I was gonna get the new iPad you know 12.4 inch or whatever it was but it was like well over a thousand dollars and considering I primarily use the tablet strictly for reading comics I couldn't justify that price tag so I started looking at other options and I ended up going with the Samsung Tablet S7 FE. Uh, mine is the 128 gigabyte version. You can get it in 64, 128. They got the new one out, which is the S8 Plus or whatever it's called. Um, but that one is literally double the price of the Samsung S7 FE. So it just really sort of depends on what you want out of your tablet and what you're going to be utilizing your tablet for. If you're like me and you're primarily only going to be using it to read comics and then the occasional TV show on an airplane or what have you, the Samsung S7 FE is the way to go. Um, I will throw up some prices here, 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 and here. It's or averaging right around, you know, 400 bucks, give or take. Um, and you can get it at a variety of retailer box stores. Um, I get no commission on any of this. I wish I did. That'd be nice. Uh, but I get zero commission on any of this. I'm just telling you guys, this is the tablet that I have fallen in love with, uh, for digital reading purposes. So, and my daughter was happy cause I gave her my old iPad. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is it right here. This is the Samsung tab S seven, um, F E F is in Frank E and uh for i bought it for i think when i bought it it was about 500 bucks but you can now get it because it came out in 2021 uh but you can now get it for um like 400 450 something like that so here's kind of just i was reading shirtless bear fighter earlier so i thought this would be a good way to kind of show you guys so this is it right here, and it comes with the Samsung um, S Pen, which is also really cool. I use that um, times. Sometimes if you just want to draw on your tablet, you can draw with it. You can take notes with it. You can get the little keyboard and things that go with it. It's a huge screen. It is a 12.4 inch. This one is 128 megabyte, um, megabyte, 128 gigabyte um, storage. And then it also has, um, I believe, the additional storage as well, like most Samsung Android tablets do. Um, but the nice thing about this one is, is that I have all my apps on it. I have DC app. I have the Marvel reading app. I have comiXology on here. Um, I have other apps cause I buy books on humble bundle and you know, things like that where I download the books. And so therefore I need an app to read those in. And when I do that, the app that I utilize is actually called perfect viewer. And let me pull it up here and I'll kind of give you guys, if you guys are looking for it, there's tons of different options out there. Um, absolutely lots and lots and lots of different options that you can use. Perfect Viewer is just the one that I personally prefer. If I can get back to it, there we go. And you can kind of customize it a little bit as well and kind of make your bookshelf look however you want. Um, but like, here's like how I have mine designed. I have it set up so it displays all the covers. Um, I have my comics in the folders and then I just click on, you know, Geiger for instance, and then it brings up the issues I have for Geiger and then just pull it up and it's absolutely amazing. Um, this tablet is incredible. And like I said, I have absolutely fallen in love with the battery lasts forever um, it's really, really nice for that. Even when I'm doing things for, um, you know, when I'm traveling or whatever, and I'm watching movies on a plane for four hours, I think the tablet uh, go from a hundred to like maybe 70% after like a four hour flight. So it's incredible. It really does hold up a really long battery life, which is also really solid. Um, there's just so many pros to this tablet. Like I said, the size, it's like reading an absolute edition in bed. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and the price for this tablet is less than 500 bucks. Like I said, it's going for like 400, 450, something like that. You might even be able to find a used one on eBay for even less than that. Um, and with Christmas around the corner and those of you looking to go digital, but you're like, well, what's the best thing to read on? If you want something big, this is it right here. Way cheaper than an iPad. It's 
fantastic. The best tablet I've had for reading comics, hands down. It's really nice, too, for, you know, watching movies and things like that occasionally. And if you go with the S8, the S8, the, the new version of this, is over, it's like $1,000. It's literally double the price of this. Just get this. There's no reason to pay, you know, $1,000. That's why I didn't do that for the iPad Pro. That's why I went with this. And it is absolutely amazing. I've had, you know, zero issues with it. Um, everything's been compatible. I can download things to it. I mean, I'm still an Apple guy through and through. Mike's Android, I know. So for those of you guys that are also Apple, though, don't worry. I'm still Apple all the way. It's just for reading purposes, I, I had to, you know, change sides for a minute. But, um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for a really great tablet to utilize again, cause you're thinking about going digital or, uh, you've been contemplating on making that jump, but you're just curious on where to start or what to look at. I highly recommend this tablet. It is absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, that's all I got for right now though. I'll be doing some more videos coming up and things. I just kind of want to do a quick little video on this. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below, or even better yet, if you guys have other tablets that you really like reading comics on that are really great suggestions, leave them down in the comments below too for other people to check out. And um, tune in Saturday, live show, Mike and I, this Saturday, December 3rd. And until next time, the power is yours.